on the final attempt now for the rain, Ugin. As you can see, there's six metres of 74 personal best in the second round. In second place, she is agonisingly one centimetre short of the ace down, which you will need. That's a massive jump. It's also a massive foul. Because if you're willing to go through all the battling you got to go through to get to where you want to get, who's got the right to stop you? I mean, maybe some of you guys got something you never finished, something you really want to do, something you never said to somebody, something. And you're told no, even after you pay your dues, who's got the right to tell you that? Who? Nobody. It's your right to listen to your gut. It ain't nobody's right to say no after you earn the right to be where you want to be and do what you want to do. So if you don't love it, if you're not having fun doing it, you don't really love it, uh, you're going to give up. And that's what happens to most people, actually. If you really look at, 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 at the ones that uh, ended up you know, being successful, unquote, in the eyes of society and the ones that didn't, oftentimes it, it's the ones that were successful loved what they did so they could persevere when, you know, when it got really tough. And, and the ones that, that didn't love it quit. If you don't love it, you're going to fail. So you got to love it, you got to have passion. Just 21 years old, a wonderful prospect. Keith and Bromley Harrier has a problem. Two fouls against the name. This is the last jump. Now, has she got a red flag or a white flag? This kid's going to be the best kid in the world. This kid's going to be somebody better than anybody ever knew. And you grew up good and wonderful. It was great just watching every day. It was like oh, a privilege. Red. Can the time come for you to be your own man and take on the world? And you did. But somewhere along the line, you changed. You stopped being you. You let people stick a finger in your face and tell you you're no good. And when things got hard, you started looking for something to blame. Like a big shadow. On this occasion, she has three crosses next to her name and takes no further part in the competition. Let me tell you something you already know. The world ain't all sunshine and rainbows. It's a very mean and nasty place, and I don't care how tough you are, it will beat you to your knees and keep you there permanently if you let it. You, me, or nobody is going to hit as hard as life. But it ain't about how hard you hit. It's about how hard you can get hit and keep moving forward. How much you can take and keep moving forward. That's how winning is done. To make adjustments, you have to think smartly when you're an athlete. And she's not doing that. Think smartly when you're an athlete. And she's not doing that. Think smartly when you're an athlete. And she's not doing that. Pain is temporary. It may last for a minute, or an hour, or a day, or even a year. But eventually, it will subside, and something else will take its place. If I quit, however, it will last forever. And the problem with most of you, you never felt no pain before. Y'all spoil. Y'all spoil. Some of y'all spoil. Just bottom line. Focused on my pot of gold. Trying to be a honest Really high quality competition in the women's long jump. A few issues with the following wind was just hovering around the legal mark all evening. But Lorraine Ugin, who's already started superbly well with the 692 in Doha, backed that up with another 701 is the lead. Very good adjustment made by Ugin because that was perfect placement. Look at the height, that's got to be higher than anyone else in this competition. Lorraine Ugin waiting for her measure.
measurements. 685 goes into third place. Take me under, take me under 